Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has disclosed that it is set to deploy a total of 46,084 regular and ad hoc staff for the off-cycle November 11 governorship elections, scheduled to hold in Bayesa, Imo, and Kogi states. This was made known during a quarterly meeting with the resident electoral commissioners, REC, by the chairman, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. He also revealed that 126 national and international organizations have been accredited collectively, deploying a total of 11,000 observers for the election. However, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said that the commission has been reassured of adequate deployment by the security agencies, as INEC will continue to deepen its engagement with security agencies while more meetings are planned in the next few days. In the next three weeks, off-cycle governorship elections will be held in Bayelsa, Imo, and Kogi states. The three elections will involve 5.4 million registered voters that will vote in 10,510 polling units spread across 649 electoral wards in 56 local government areas. So far, all non-sensitive materials for the election have been delivered to the three states. Other preparatory activities, including training, are on course. Valuable lessons have been learned from the 2023 general election for improved performance in the forthcoming elections. Last week, we concluded a mock accreditation involving actual voters in designated polling units in the three states. We have two objectives for the exercise. First, to test the efficacy of the bimodal voter accreditation system, the BVAS, for especially biometric authentication of voters. Secondly, to upload the result to the INEC result viewing portal, IREM. Both tests were successful. We look forward to improved performance of the beavers in voter accreditation and result upload in the forthcoming elections. While we are leaving no stone unturned in other areas of preparations for the governorship election, the Commission plans to deploy a total of 46,084 regular and ad hoc staff for the election. We have so far accredited 126 national and international organizations, collectively deploying 11,000 observers for the election. Although the portal for media accreditation closes on Tuesday, 24th October 2023, we have received applications from 80 media organizations seeking to deploy 1,203 personnel made up of journalists and their technical and support staff to report on the elections. As we said repeatedly, we are concerned about the prevailing insecurity and election-related violence in the three states. We have been reassured of adequate deployment by the security agencies. On our part, we will continue to deepen our engagement with the security agencies and more meetings are planned in the next few days. Similarly, the Commission will hold a series of meetings with stakeholders at the national level and at the state level, again beginning from next week. Olamikon Wisdom, GTV Africa.